Catherine Watson. The Godfrey Rose Sport Trophy, sponsored by Colgan Foundation, who are sponsoring a couple of the races here today. It's a very small event. There were six entries, one scratch yesterday. It's down to five. So uh, actually, Catherine Watson, her opposition scratched yesterday, so she just got to row over the course. And uh, Edinburgh University Scholar got a bye. So for both of them, really, this is their first proper side-by-side -side race of this regatta. And they're off safely. Winding it up now. Trying to get that crucial advantage off the start. Edinburgh University Scholar looks a bit the cleaner to me. She's up at the 39, 40. She's got that, she's got out to a longer stroke faster. It's going to be a bit of a close race here though. Oh, it is at, this, at this point, the Edinburgh University Scholar did get out to length faster and it's just, she just managed to get her nose in front. Here on the course, yeah, it's that longer, rangier stroke of Maddie Arlett from Edinburgh University. Got her out to an early lead, Temple Island, and she's just increased at every stroke. Very long stroke. She's got that unusual, it's still quite an unusual rig with the wing rigger behind the boat. So we've got a very traditional rig. Um, in the Cambridge 99 boat of the traditional backstay. Oh no, we've got a wing rigger. We've got a wing rigger with backstays, and then we've got the reverse wing rigger in the Edinburgh University boat. Yes, Maddie are looking very, very tidy sculling, a lot of sculling, nice pickup, and making a lot of good water every stroke. Catherine Watson, certainly no slouch. And up at the start, so we've got that, but we've got both of the semi-finals of the um, elite lightweight single on the course now. Oh, we've got uh, on the left-hand side of, of the bottom picture, Robin Hart Winks of the University of London going right across. She's going to be warned by the umpire, surely, fairly soon. She's pulled right across again, as we see quite a few of the scholars now she's going back on course, so that will have cost her. She's had to pull right over. And on um, she is against um, Agecroft Rowing Club. It's allowed her to get ahead. So it's Ellie Lewis of Agecroft Rowing Club. I think it is, it is kind of an advantage for the steering to be on that Temple Island side, unless you hit it, which someone did yesterday. But, she's, but that's so after, now she's got herself straight. Robin Lewis is coming through, so it cost her in the start. Robin Hart winks, it cost her in the start, but now she's come back through once she got herself straight, as often happens. And Ellie Lewis of Agecroft Rowing Club, she had an initial advantage, but she seems to have lost that now. Yes, Robin is just looking the more composed and gently moving through. She just increased her rate. A little just to attack trying to get back on terms it's neck and neck at the moment Ellie Lewis 
certainly not um, giving up, but Robin Hartwink's moving through now at quite a pace. Good strong stroke. She's um, very strong, doesn't she? Yeah. I mean, she's she did come, she came third at this year's GB Senior Trials in April. Um, lightweights. She won. I mean, she's a she's the holder of this event. She won this event last year and raced the lightweight single at the World University Championships in Poz Poznan last September. She's a seasoned competitor. She didn't get to race yesterday. She had a bye yesterday. But she's taken that race on. I mean, after initial, she needs to get a steering, hopefully for the final, to get a steering sorted out for the, over the start, but she's... Uh... Yes, Ellie Lewis just had a look across and thought to herself, goodness me, I need to do something pretty serious now to get back on terms. The elite lightweight single it was only it was only Ellie Lewis who actually got to race yesterday. She's the only one who had to race around. Um, probably good, you know, good for her to get that race really. But uh, we're we're looking to see who will go go through to the final. Yes, there's nothing worse than anticipating a race and then getting almost get, getting let down because you've worked yourself up ready. Yeah. Fantastic. Elite lightweight pairs on the course. As you can see, that's Commercial Rowing Club from Ireland on the Berkshire Station. That's the Topar Station. And UL on the Buckinghamshire Station. And at the moment, if there's not much in it, UL perhaps have half a length. The umpire was warning uh, commercial then. I mean, they didn't look to me too far out of their water, but... Um, we're not umpires here. Yes, UL probably have near enough a length now. The UL having accelerated the last probably 100 metres to try and break the Irish in the early part of the race. They come up to the quarter mile. In fact, the, the Irish boat have certainly have responded well and have not been shaken off. UL rating about 35, 36. Not the similar rate from the Irish crew. Might get the, be able to get a rating on them as they come past our commentary position. I'm down on them here. Both settled into their rowing nicely now. Thirty-five and a half in that UL boat. Thirty-six. Just a slightly shorter in a commercial boat. Shorter style from commercial boat, but the, the certainly the boat speed is there. UL still had the edge, but only just. Just, you. just moved up a little bit on their rates, probably half a pip. Yeah, it's going to be. It's looking like a tight race coming down here. So they've got that chest, got that canvas, commercial holding on. So this UL crew won the bronze in the lightweight pairs and. Uh, two into the lightweight quads at the Bucks Regatta this year. Yes, UL seem to move out and then com commercial respond, come back and then UL have another go. <laughs> so it's nip and tuck like that all the way down at the moment. <coughs> so hopefully we can keep looking at that a little bit and keep, we'll keep an eye on that one. We've got the, set the second semi-final starting as well. The race is coming down thick and fast now. Second semi-final between Thames Rowing Club A and University um, Oxford University Lightweight Rowing Club A. Oxford on the left hand of your picture, passing Temple Island now.
So it's still looking like, if you look at the top of your picture, looks like Commercial have pulled back a bit on the UL crew. It's going to be a fight all the way down for those crews. And the second semi-final between Thames and Oxford University lightweights. This one's looking pretty close as well. Though the yes. Oxford do seem to have got this slight advantage. There's not much in it. In fact, um, Thames are coming back very slowly. Thames now attacking. They can sense that their boat speed is relatively quicker than their Oxford counterparts at the moment. And just putting in a little push, trying to break it as they come up to our commentary position, Oxford, under threat from Thames. Yes, Thames have just broken yep. it by about a canvas. Thames looking the more comfortable. In fact, I can see the bow girl just giving instruction to her stroke. And they moved again. They decided to put a push again. Good just, push. Just see the lift in the boat, couldn't you? Once you get that to within striking distance, it's like, right, we might as well break them now. Let's break them. We see what's happening in the, and, and in the first heat, we've got the pictures. It looks very much like UL have finally managed to break clear of Commercial Rowing Club Island in the uh, first semi-final. So UL broken clear, Thames broken clear far earlier in this race. Nice stroke from Thames, like very yeah. good, good stroke, picking up the boat well. The Oxford crew, I mean, both these crews raced yesterday, but Oxford crew didn't really get a race out yesterday. Um, we've had some drama kind of happening in this events and pretty bad steering from some crews, not th not from Oxford, but their, their opposition, Durham University, crashed out yesterday. This is the crew that crashed into the island. Um, they did get restarted, but they never seriously threatened them, so they didn't, they didn't really get a race yesterday, Oxford. It was ended up just kind of paddling over the course. Thames Rowing Club had the fastest quarter final time yesterday. They weren't too pushed. They still managed to record a pretty good time. So it looks like we looks like Thames going to going through to race UL in the final of that elite lightweight pairs. And now up at the start, we're back into eights. So they're leaving a little bit of a bigger gap, making sure these eights don't catch up with the pairs. And we've got on our left hand side.